content of Ikaguchi's social media posts contain posts of critical posts critical to the LGBTQIA community. Ikaguchi also reposted videos associated with anti-law enforcement contact. Ikaguchi was killed in a shootout with the deputies. Nicole Comstock has more from witnesses. People pass by the bullet hole in the glass door as they come to pay their respects to a beloved Lake Arrowhead shop owner who was murdered, witnesses say, over a pride flag she had displayed outside. He looked right at me and made eye contact and kind of nodded and I went, I'm going to die right now. When Sandy Jones stepped outside the hardware store next door, he says he saw the suspect pull out a handgun, fatally shooting the owner of Magpie, Lori Carlton. He says the man was trying to tear the pride flag down and Lori came outside. She was arguing with him about the flag okay. and she just gave up, turned around and walked back into the store and at that time is when he shot the first bullet. Many in Lake Arrowhead have posted online that Carlton was a pillar in the community and a movable force in her values for equality, love and justice. And the growing memorial outside her store is a sea of rainbow colored flowers. It didn't make any sense. It just didn't. And we support her. Cheryl Watson says she went to Magpie every time she was in town because Carlton created a space here that drew people inside time and time again. And she's heartbroken for Carlton's husband and children. She had all kinds of flags and it had to do with loving everybody. That was Nicole Comstock reporting. Governor Newsom released a statement on the shooting saying, quote, this is disgusting and has no place in California.